Bone Room presents How to Make a Perfect Pet. Rats are pretty good pets, but they still want food, water, they want to be cleaned, they need a big cage. So how do you take something like this and make it better? We're going to show you how. First I'm going to put this little guy away, because I don't want him to see this. Now, here at the bone room, we never suggest you injure a rat to make it better, but sometimes accidents happen. So how do you take something like this and make something like this? That's not a rat. Well, it's a little bit of work to do. First off, Sometimes your rat might look more like this. If he looks like this, you're going to have to get rid of all the fur and all the flesh and all the gooey stuff inside before he even looks like this. But once you get him to this point, it's just a matter of cleaning. Oh, and putting him back together again. Start taking your rat putting him in a nice, comfy jar. Now what you need is ordinary hydrogen peroxide. Never use bleach. Bleach will ruin bones. Now, you're going to want to let him sit in his peroxide for anywhere from a day to three or four days, just until he gets to be that nice, light bone color. Here, we'll let him get started. But I know you don't have three or four days to wait. So, when he comes out of his jar, he should look like this. Now, there's a lot of pieces here. Thankfully, the internet is full of pictures like this. They'll help you put your rat back together again. With a little bit of super glue and some tweezers. You can also use white glue. But it'll dry a little slower, so you'll have to hold your rat in place. On the other hand, you'll have more time to fix him if you screw up. Now all you have to do is figure out what goes where. For example, I'm pretty sure this piece goes with this piece. However, it's going to take me a while to get him back together again. We'll let you work on that. So what do you get when you're done? A perfect pet. 